come true And I wonder If you know Why it What it means What it means I wonder If you know Track stars exclusive here. Yeah. All of you men and me. Hey, there you go. Look, uh. I told him I would never settle, settle, settle. On that rock, scream that rock Heavy metal, metal, metal. His agenda, oh yeah boy I'm on the schedule, schedule, schedule. I promise I'm gonna be this way forever uh, We gonna live forever Giant killers rolling with, with. They said that I ain't rapping Jesus, man they trip, trip, trip I be like Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Time fit, time fit But preaching to the choir Ain't my mission relevant So they can feel it, I got family in these streets That's why I won't sell out And these bars will set you free I guess that's like a sellout See them fishes cast a sellout He say me so I yell out They told me that I couldn't But I can That's like Michelle House Barack gave me redemption No not Barack I meant the rock Just pay attention Ain't no medium Can't be strapped in the fence No gray area Black and white huh. Like Danny Glover Mel Gibson No uh, Miss all I see is fences, but it really don't make a difference. Sin sends his special wishes, but you know I'm not with it, cause my heart is screaming no medium. My heart's screaming no medium. My soul is crying no medium. My heart screaming no medium. Yeah, be gay. Uh, no I told him I would never settle. Last me first, I guess I get a go to metal. Put my trust in him, that's what you call a count. Man, I was blessed, I didn't grow up in the struggle. But I struggle with myself, intimidation's like a beast. It can eat you up and split you out, Roman speech. At my neck, I feel like fear is gripping me. But no, 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 that can't happen. I gotta kill, I gotta kill. It's just a screed. I'm on this mission with the mission. I'm all in, kill a lot of position. I ain't never quitting till I finish when that is. That would be never. Ain't no fake around me. Drug dealers on the block, they playing RBS and tickets. All of them and not of me. Yeah, I got the Manola. I'm not on my solo. He's sitting on me, so I live like a troller. To not be local, no climbing like us on the up and down. But this thing like a yo-yo. Man, and I will never settle. No medium game, I'm on another level I'm all in, I'm leaving nothing, man All I see is fences But it really don't make a difference Sin sends his special wishes But you know I'm not with it Cause my heart is screaming no medium My heart's screaming no medium My soul is crying no medium my heart's screaming, no medium. No, no. Sex 
excellence, man. No, uh. Going hard since the start of this. John Q, it just be the box, that's what I put my heart in this. Mission came and got you, boy. We linked up like sausages. All black, peace strap. Taking no medium hostages. All BS and G to start and fire. Don't ask for my brass to last. Off of Ben and Plow City next to where we pop the is. Swear Christ, got me higher than a roster is. Let me out that cage. I'm a beast like the foster kids. I is. I'm on my symbol flying solo. Let that pride go. Hard pill to swallow. But that fall a little harder, bro Fall in there, come with that quickness But that pride just like to rise slow That's what I tell them giants So, victory is all I know Slingshot, I got it Got it. Few stones in my pocket, pocket. Confidence moving in silence So if you don't hear me, just know that I got it uh. yeah. Swear this Christ, life is all I know So I rock it till the day I hear them trumpets blow All I see all is fences but they know I'm not with it Cause my heart is screaming no medium No, no, no My heart's screaming no medium My soul is crying no medium My heart's screaming no medium No, 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 no No look one What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, man, Pastor Alexander Pagani, a.k.a. Preach That Fire from Holla Fest Radio. And you tuning into one of the liveest holy hip-hop radio shows on the face of the planet, Track Stars Radio. You're in the field with the Track Stars. NYC, stand up. Oh, it's hot up in here. The deal was good. Jim Stone's for life. Oh, it's hot up in here, baby.
Jumping to the top cause he be knocking every road in town Bentley's a Cadillac and every time he come around Cracking on how much money he got up in his account The love of money got his ego on a hundred thousand He get around a run of people then he run his mouth The camel through the apple needle got a better route You rockin' as a heaven and what it's all about You got a mansion so it's many in my father's house I guess he better than me cause he pullin' all this out Or better because he who everybody talkin' about What would it profit me to gain the world because of doubt And then I run it hell like I was never thought about Back in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright to Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. How's everybody doing? <laughs> hear my voice. You hear my voice. You so, couldn't hear it last week, but Ryan, you hear it now. Ryan sounded, now like a, Ryan sounded like a ghost last week, and then he sounded like a frog. <laughs> but um, he is back in the building. Yeah, man. Three days. Couldn't talk. That's ironic for Ryan Righteous, man. That's real <laughs> ironic. Like My wife was like, it's really blessing. quiet over here. My daughter was doing a lot of talking, though. She's gonna be like me, y'all. She's no. gonna be, yeah. She's gonna be oh, like yeah. me, man. Yeah. So we got so much news, man. Um, first of all, if you saw earlier, I tweeted out that there was a surprise for the Trackstar staff. So if you want to know about that, thank you for everybody who's been donating um, to the Trackstars as well, man. That's really yeah. been helping us. Um, but this is what happened. So if you've been seeing, if you've been following the Trackstars Instagram, you're noticing uh, the Trackstar staff has been everywhere, man. They've been, um, you know, at concerts, taking pictures with Kristen Gray, Alex Faith, the big all these people, man. People we can't even get close to. Yeah, Joe Baraka, that, you know what I'm saying? Just turn their heads. <laughs> nah, but um, <laughs> so no, but it's it's awesome. So, but what they were telling us was, man, all we got are our iPhone cameras. It looks really bad. So, if some of you don't know, our first camera when you first started seeing line for lines go visual. We, I went out and bought a T2i, a Canon T2i. So if you're in the film and you want to start doing video stuff, go get the Canon T2i. It's an amazing camera. You could get it for like $250, $300. Um, it's a really good low-budget uh, camera, but it can do amazing things. Um, so they even shot an episode of House with a T2i. So oh, wow. just when I found out what it could do, you still got to learn the basics of film and lighting and, and, and editing and all that to get it to that level. But just knowing that it could do that was amazing to me so that's what we started with and we just kept getting better and better with that camera and then we upgraded to what we have now is a 60d yeah so um <clears throat> they were telling us what they needed a camera so we we ended up i went and found a t2i so now they have a camera that they could bring with them so that's what that was just in case you guys didn't know so thank you everybody that helps us yeah, out man. out there um and um so that's one piece of news another piece of news um, our producer, Austin Welchel, just got us a deal. You saw that tweet go out where now we're going to be broadcasted to, to the islands. To, yeah. To my people. <laughs> to my people, them. Um, if, if y'all know, my, my family's from Jamaica, so uh, we'll be broadcasted to the islands, Jamaica included. So that's a big deal, man. Um, so 
Appreciate that work, man. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on. I, I know I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? There's more stuff um, going on. We had new staff members. Yeah, yeah. There's new staff members coming on board. So you'll so be seeing some stuff from them as new well. New faces. Yeah, man. Y'all, y'all just showing us so much love, man. Um, thank you to everybody out there who tweets about us and, and tells people about the show. Um, I don't know what's going on right now. I mean... We're not we're not big time, so I don't have any. Yes, we are. I'm no, man. Yeah. We're we're not big time, so I don't have any. I don't feel any pressure being honest with you guys, but it's been crazy for us. We've been doing the show for eight nine years now, and for a long time it was nobody listened to our show, and then all of a sudden people started coming on board and people started believing in us. And just since we got back from from uh, Flavor, Flavor Fest, it's been like a lot of great stuff has been going yeah. on, and people showing yeah. us love and reaching out to us, and we're we're really really grateful. And that that that's a testament to y'all, man. People see y'all voting on Lava yeah. Line. People see y'all talking on YouTube about the show and spreading the videos around. So this is really a victory for for everybody, man. So thank you for rocking with us and believing in us. And whenever you came on board with the Track Stars, we really have a vision to make this thing a big thing. We're here to be uh, support for yeah. for what's happening in Christian hip hop and not just Christian hip hop. We have this when when I first came up with these ideas man it's it's a it's a global takeover type thing we're trying to do so not just radio but also music of course with what jeremiah is doing and and uh we're trying to take over fashion and print media and everything so there's a lot of opportunities if you want to be down with us or if you want to support us in the future man we're really trying our best and um i think another thing too is i think we always think if you want to be an intern and you international and you want to help us internationally yeah. from where you are and spread the word about track stars and what we do and stuff. You can. It's not just like an American thing. If you yeah. like us in China and you want to help us out, if you like us wherever you are, yeah, we get you can help us out any type of way. Yeah, so our, our social media person is Ciara. So if you are interested in promoting for us wherever you wherever you're from, we'll get you in contact with her and she'll give you the details on how what what she needs help with. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She's been killing it online, man. Yeah. If you've seen all the posts she's been putting yeah. up, she's been killing it. So she, you know she could always use help. So let her know if you want to be a part of the street team. Yeah, and not just that, you also can contribute to uh, articles, um, submit your music, submit your noteworthy, submit your topic ideas, your line for lines i mean yeah. just so many things you go to the website it's not just for radio it's news updates current events blogs so check everything out yeah man uh, i feel like i'm forgetting like a big thing that we've done this week oh we're also going to be um we all if you saw some of the instagrams that i put out we also were a big part of the Derek Minor video yeah. last week, man. So that was big. We're, um, some of our um, staff members are in the video. I helped shoot the video. So that was a great opportunity for us, man. Everybody was in the room. Ryan, you may see Ryan with a little mask My on. hands up. <laughs> you may see Sincere in the background somewhere, Jeremiah yeah. and everybody. So it was awesome, man. Um, a lot of great opportunities coming up. Um, yeah, so there, there's a lot of stuff. And, and this is something new I haven't even told them about. We're also going to start doing some Track Stars artist services because I know there's there's a lot of up and coming artists. Our the primary goal of our show when we started was to help find those artists that don't have that promotion that a Reach Records has. Or back in the day when we started, it was the cross movement. But but you we we always had that mentality. It has to be excellent. It has yeah. to be good. So some people don't know how to make what it excellent. So so what? part part of what we're <laughs> part of what we're working on is Track Stars Artist Services, where if you need production. We can help you with that. If you need photography, I just did. Um, I don't know if you know uh, Ace. He did some work on uh, Anomaly production wise. He did the 100 song by KB. Great artist. He uh, he called me up and asked me to do a photo shoot for him. So photo shoots, um, anything you need. We just want to make sure artists have what they need to be successful because a lot of people don't know how to do that especially if they don't got a label and all that kind of stuff and don't forget the most important thing about artists is that they can now um, have their albums reviewed yeah 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 shout out to Adam in the beginning for sending in um, we, we can help review your album give you some tips um, all kinds of stuff man we're, we're really trying to work hard and build a team here that could really be for if you're just a listener and you just want to help with ministering the gospel more if you're not a Christian you just kind of eavesdropping in on Christian conversations to see if you feel it or not if you, or if you're an artist or you're a creative person that wants to get help with how to do this or you know whatever we're trying to do all of that for you guys so just bear with us as we grow um, but hopefully we, you can rock with us for a long time alright let's sound off alright y'all first up Pope Francis 
believes that the theories of evolution and the Big Bang are not inconsistent with creationism and biblical teaching. He said the evolution in nature is not opposed to the notion of creation because evolution presupposes the creation of beings that evolve. Sound off. Wow. Mm. We've never done this evolution topic just because to me it's a big deal. And yeah. I, I've studied this for a long, long time. It's a big topic, man. I've I've come across Christians that are all over the map on this. Some that are, you know, it has to be exactly how it's described. Some people find room for it, even in the way it's described. Some people feel like, you know, God just set the clock in motion. And what descri- what's described in Genesis is just a summary of all of evolution. I mean, if you saw the Noah movie, they basically did that. A lot of people didn't catch that. And some people argue with me, which is crazy because it was so obvious that... The scene when you when Noah was telling somebody, no, it was like towards yeah, the is. middle. Yeah, it is. When Noah was explaining creation mm-hmm. to somebody, he was actually like no, he was it was, it, was it, it was in the middle. It was in the middle. It was when he um, when they first got in the water. Yeah, and he was. And Who was, was he talking to? Though? He was talking to his, his, family, his family. All of them. Okay, yeah. so he was he was quoting Genesis one, mm-hmm. but the visuals oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. were evolution. Mm-hmm. And people don't catch that. Like that's that's subtle, you know. Tr- you know but I, I mean, think I think the reason why they didn't catch it is because he was using he was using Genesis, the Bible, yeah. So, but but you, the visuals, but they were basically trying to say what this um, Pope is saying is that it's the same. It's the same thing. And there's a lot of Christians that believe that, and some Christians who just straight up evolution, like that's exact Big Bang, everything. And I'm like, I don't know. but anyway, so. Uh, I still believe, I've heard all the evidence and all that kind of stuff, I still believe in the Genesis account. I see nothing wrong, and I think this is the biggest issue with this evolution thing. People are starting to doubt the power of God. Science has become such a major thing in our in our culture now that everything has to obey science. Well, I think the reason why is because you got to think about it from a standpoint and it's going to be controversial. We're not when we're, we're friends to controversy. It's our cousin. Disclaimer. Um, I think because science bring results that you can see, you can measure, you can, and see. people don't yeah. like a god that can't measure. Yeah, and you you don't understand. It's not explained. Like this just happened, and people are like, well, how did this just happen? Here's the problem. I personally, in my faith, have no issue with the supernatural power of God. But I realize that a lot of people have an issue with supernatural power. But as long as you profess to be a Christian, I mean, the word of God says without faith is impossible to please God. Like it is, I mean, that is the foundation of being a Christian. So at some point or another, and I'm not saying just give in completely and be like, oh, I just believe in God. It is what it is because he desires for us to be, you know, studiers and to be researchers. But at the same time, our knowledge and our insight is finite. It is not, you know, th- there's no possible way we can explain any and everything. And the yeah. moment that we think we do, it puts us on the same realm as God. And it's not. Well, the, the, unfortunately, they're not unfortunately. There are people who are wired to figure things out. I'm wired that way. Mm-hmm. So I understand the desire to be like, man, this rock formation based on what we know means every every layer is a mm-hmm. hundred years or so. And there's you know thousands of layers yeah. so how did all the layers get there and there's all kinds of debates about well did god create a mature earth that was already layered up and already had all the evidence of millions of years or in genesis 1 when it said in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth was that millions of years and then he started doing stuff on day one i there's all kinds of theories at the end of the day it doesn't matter. This is one of those, don't get lost in this because yeah. it could mess your faith up if you go too deep into it. But I understand the argument. Yeah. All right, y'all, on to the next. Since gay marriage has been legalized in North Carolina on October 10th, at least six North Carolina judges have resigned from their benches because they could not go against their Christian faith and conduct wedding ceremonies for same sex couples. Sound off. I think that's dope. I think that's good. I mean, you know, we we see it all the time where people are going against their faith. It's good to see some 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 people and individuals stand taking the stand to go with the faith because I mean, we're looked at as weirdos and, and different when we do things that the world doesn't look at to be the norm. So I think it's great that they're doing this. I think that it 
is a good stance for us to go into different states and try to overturn, overrule this uh, the Supreme Court ruling. So I think that's great. I never thought about that. So, OK, so th- they're they're describing courthouse marriages. Mm-hmm. So because I've been to a courthouse marriage and then there's just a bunch of people in the room mm-hmm. and they're all paired up. And he does it all at the same time. Is oh, that word. the situation that well, a judge has to do that? Yeah. If it's if it's legalized in your state, you cannot say, I will not perform this wedding. Ooh. I'm, I didn't even think about that problem. Yeah. I was just thinking about pastors that could just say yes or no. Mm-hmm. You don't think about the judges who have no choice. Yeah. That's not fair. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. The thing, the thing is, quite honestly, I think that is where... We are moving. Um, Christians are are going to have to take a stand. It's not one of those things where you can just go with the flow anymore. And I'm not even talking about this issue. I yeah, mean, just the issues. way the world is going, you know, even just you have there. There are hard decisions that have to be made. And it's, it's going to require Christians to really take the hard road, which is going to be unpopular, not easy. You know, it's, that's where the persecution, quite honestly, is going to start. So, wow. All right. Last but certainly not least, the upcoming movie Exodus, starring Christian Bale as Moses, is creating much controversy. Controversy, excuse me, before its slated premiere on December 12th for the following reasons. First off, Christian Bell has described Moses as schizophrenic and barbaric. Second of off, second off, the parting of the Red Sea will not be because of a miracle, but because of an earthquake. And C, leading roles were given to white actors and the slave roles to black actors. Sound off. I mean, it just it repeats itself. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> about the earthquake, that goes back to what we're talking about with evolution. Yeah. It goes back to the whole story of something had to happen. Order has to to make, there has yeah. to be a natural reason yeah, to explain like, away yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, think about it. Like, I mean, from the original, um, and not the original Exodus, but the original Ten Commandments. When he did it, I mean, the the quality of it was kind of whack. But you've seen his staff do that. Yeah, you know what I mean. And um, I just think, I think, I think when we try to put God, like, put our own minds around God, that's when we mess up and we become more and more like our society and to me i would i would feel offended if i saw the script and i'm like why are y'all leaving this out this is like the most important part yeah, of the story what's the point of doing a bible movie who are you appealing to cuz you're going to lose one audience or the other why don't you just stick to one but you touching on it because i think there is an underlying motive that is quite honestly to dispel the word oh, yeah. God because oh, yeah. I mean even what you were talking about with the Noah movie like these um, Bible remakes and I use that word loosely because the stories are being told loosely as it relates to the word of God and I think they use it to draw Christians I think they're seeing it as a two for one well, we're paying because for it. it yeah but we see it as Christians or well let me we say think this, it's gonna the be industry something. yeah the yeah. industry sees it as a two for one because Christians think it's gonna be in support of the Bible and then but in actuality it's really kind of helping to dispel some of the beliefs you know that non-believers have already questioned so it's like you so know so did anybody see Left Behind oh the new it just seems so whack to me I, I, I so nobody saw it I haven't seen it didn't get good reviews either it didn't. quite honestly it didn't well the very first one was really difficult Black. to watch yeah yeah you know what that's something the old ones oh um, yeah her camera but this her should camera. be like a blockbuster it movie it should be yeah but I think um, you know I, we talked about it long, uh, enough already, but I think that they are trying to put a, um, a, a, a emphasis on on Christian films to make us look corny and bad. And I think that's and I think uh, people are that's taking not this. That. Well, but it's not, no, well, no, 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 because this has major stars in I know, this one. I know, but the the fact that it's not good, that people are not are, no. aren't liking it. No, that, I think what it's two. Saying? It's two different pools. There's okay. the God is not dead pool of Christian movies, and then there's these blockbuster made by. Oh atheists yeah, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold okay. on, pause. Wait a minute. Put no, a no, I see it. what you, I see what you're saying, but I see where you, and you're getting upset about something. Why did you just say what you just said? Because, because those movies are actually Christian movies. Yeah, they're not. They're not cloaked with atheism. They're not oh, okay. written by. They're not written by worldly Hollywood directors. We're talking about. These like, are actual, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Oh, okay, they, okay. They, so I thought legit. you were talking about this was 
whack, and this is. But they are also considered whack by a lot of people. Because you see what I'm saying? They're not big, budget. They're not big budget. They're not budget. So gotcha. we're we're trying to. But, what but, we need to do is support these people yeah. that are making these kind of movies that are legit, even though they're not there yet. But and I don't stop supporting these. But when big I say budgets. that, I'm not talking about the actual movie. I'm talking about the concept. I think people don't buy into the concept when it's like. I, I mean, I have friends that are like, "Oh, it's Christian." Nah, it's just like Christian hip hop, like you said. Yeah. People don't buy into the concept because they're already expecting it to be something that they don't want to see. There has to be people who are willing to make a movie that is not super obvious that just is made by a Christian. It don't have to look like it's made by a Christian. Yeah. It don't have to be advertised as a Christian movie. It just needs to but be made by. A Christian. I think the reason why it's not is because. They want the church backing. Think about it. That's the same it's, problem we're having with Christian hip hop. But I mean, it's 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 a thing where I can go to a church, I could package, I could do, um, I could do programs, I could do all this stuff, and ship it to churches, and churches can get it, use it as a Bible study, use it at different things. But um, I think I think that's why people do what they do. There has to be a way to get into the same space as a big time director. And make a but just a me, movie just like everybody else makes, but with a godly heart. Yeah. But let me there ask has you this to be a way to get to that place. Even if you try to get to that place, what was the difference between the Passion of Christ? It was all about Christian stuff, right? And 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 why did it do so well as opposed to was, all the rest was, of our it movies? It was marketed to Christians, and yeah. it wasn't wrong. It wasn't false, right? But why did it do so well as opposed I, I to think, other I, movies? I think Mel Gibson. Is it Mel Gibson? Is Mel it, Gibson had something to do with it, even though he wasn't in it. I think him, him his name being his tied name to was, it, it felt like a big. big budget Christian. It did. Movie. It really did. Whereas these are just big budget Christian themed movies. Yeah, that's the difference. But right. I think I think I think honestly I think um, the Passion is still one of the highest rated movies for. For for like the church, oh like yeah, the church yeah, Christian stuff. Course. But I also heard I, I don't know if somebody beat it yet. I heard it was one of the highest rated rated R movies too. Because remember, it was rated R. What's interesting about it is that you you really had to be all the way in to watch that movie because it was subtitles. Yeah, you know, they they made two versions. They, the, the, the whole movie was in Aramaic. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The whole they may have made another version in English, though. Yeah. I believe they, they, they dubbed over it at some point. I would not have wanted to see that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the very the first version was like the, was pure to me. I, I really enjoyed that. Wow. All right, y'all. That's it for sound off. All right, y'all. About to get in some music. <laughs> you in the field with the track stars: Ryan Righteous, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. Let's take it to another level, boom, like the 
beat just keep rocking. Our record voice, don't let it be forgotten. People all across the nation have expectations. Don't need to change the generation. Yeah, I can see it in your eyes. Envision so deep that are full of life. Steady fighting because we know what the world could be. So I guess the next vote, me and you will kiss. There's so many around the world with voices buried beneath. We can't let our voice start to fail. Entertainment Report with Jeremiah. What's good, everybody? It's entertainment time. I got like three things and let you go. All right. Um, first off, Trip Lee, man. Shouts out to him. Um, coming out with an album that was um, that did very well on um, iTunes. Overall, it was on number three iTunes and then number one in hip hop, man. So shout out to Reach, man. Reach are really... Pushing it, man, forward, man, for us, man, as a um, as a as a group and stuff for CHH. So um, that will be that. Kurt Franklin questioning motives for new album. Kurt Franklin is questioning his own motives for releasing another album. Franklin Forty Four has um, no trouble staying in the spotlight with his own Sirius XM radio station, um, with um, hosting gigs and on um, Sunday's Best. But when it comes to a new album, he had some some things and thoughts and stuff um, to say about it on Twitter. He said, "Before I start another album or do anything, I'm asking myself, am I trying to reach the loss or just become popular among them?" I've been talking about that. Um, I've been talking about that with Mary Mary and all of them. No, seriously, like Fred Hammond. I'm serious. Like that is the that is the big thing, man. If, if you're gonna have, if you're gonna make music to retain Christians or make music to, to bring Christians in or bring yeah. people in. So, and then also he was saying over the years, motives get gray. Um, is it for him or is it for me? Who whose name do I want to hear? Will, will God let a brother share in His glory? Um, and then he, he he's been really really thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? He's I've been praying and asking God to give me what He wants me to to do next. So yes, that is on my radio, but I'm not trying to rush it. And I understand what you're saying because as as, as a long time when you do music and you have success, and then it's like yeah, you know, to, to me, Hero is one of my best albums. Like that's one of the. In my personal opinion, Hero is like one of the best contemporary gospel albums that I've ever heard. And that's like one of my best, like start to finish yeah. is one of the best. Like. Yeah. So for him, I think like he's producing stuff now. He's, of course, always been a writer and always been producing. But now he has a label. So now he's got like other people that, you know, course, some of the winners on. I mean, some people that came from Sunday's Best, um, the, the, the Walls Group. Different things like that. So now he can be more behind the scenes, but I think it is when Kirk, Kirk Franklin is that staple in gospel, contemporary gospel music. Like when he drops something, people are like from both sides are like, "Yo, let me go see what he's dropping." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And um, I think it's a good thing, man. I think at, at times it's always a good thing to question um, your motives about what's what you're doing. You know right. what I'm saying? Is it the right way to do it and stuff like that? So 
What do you Oh okay um, Shia LaBeouf Becomes a Christian Actor Shia LaBeouf Has said that he found God While working on the latest film Fury And is now saved And changed man Thanks To co-star Brad Pitt huh. Which is funny That is funny Cause Brad Pitt is Is His background is Religious And Christian and stuff Because he was raised In the Bible Belt yeah. But he's more like oh, oh, Open to spirituality Okay. Where as a director was a Christian was a, was was okay. described as more as subscribing to Christianity. Okay, but um, of course Shia LaBeouf comes from the Jewish background and he, yeah. he comes from that background. And he just was saying, he was saying, I never um have to actually look at myself and be faced with um uh, my stuff or take responsibility. Um, he also said Brad was really instrumental in guiding my head, guiding me head through this. Um, Brad came from a hyper religious, very deeply Christian Bible Belt life and rejected it and moved towards unknown, unnamed spirituality. He looked at religion like the people, like, like, like very like, uh, but, um, just being on a movie set really changed him. So, yeah, that's interesting. Um, so did, does it say that he is, he found God or he found Jesus. Um, I'm it's showing that like he's a Christian, like he accepted Christ. But I mean, at the same time, it's Hollywood too. You got to look at it from that yeah. standpoint too. Is like think he's it's on Hollywood, the Kim, Kim Kardashian boat. Um, I don't know, man, because at this point in time, Charlotte LaBeouf has been a while and out. People say, like, you think about, you know, after Transformers and everything, his, his, like. He went crazy and different things of that nature. So you you have to say it from that standpoint. Like, yo, this guy has really went from A to to B. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, got you, got you. Yeah, okay, that's good. I mean, I'm happy to hear it. I always feel that way when I see the little Disney, uh, the Disney and the Nickelodeon um, teens. Yeah, and then you hear about them living wild lifestyles and going like crazy. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, to hear him come back home is, you know, it's good. Well, I mean, I, I think, I think at times, sometimes when people have those, those like situations that they deal with, that they're looking for something. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you know, he was, he was. I think, I think he kind of lost his way when they fired him from Transformers. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he was out there. So yeah. and his thoughts and stuff. So. You never know, man, what people are going through, because I think we always think people got the the good, quote unquote, good life. But in actuality, they may be going through more drama than what we what we see. You know what I'm saying? So. But yeah, man, um, my final copy section um, for people who don't know what a copy section is, is me telling you what to go pick up. Um, if you feel like, man, I, I want to find some good music, you know what I mean? I want some some good to bump and stuff like that. So, um, Chris Tomlin, Love Ran Red, Jackie Hill Perry, The Art of Joy, Cherie, Be the Change EP, and then the um, free download is um, Mission, No Medium Single, and Natalie Lauren, Cliff Notes EP, also for a free download. And that is it for me man all right man let's get back into it oh real quick man this is big if you are in the atlanta area we're a part of something new that's coming to atlanta it's going to be a, a huge huge event here in the atlanta area soon it's going to grow really fast it's called the win it's uh, put on by sam collier uh, we partnered up with him and um i don't know people like amina brown microsoft there's a lot of people partnered in to make this event a success in atlanta and if it does well in atlanta we're going to migrate it to a bunch of other cities so if you're not in Atlanta, pray for it. And if you're in Atlanta, make sure you come out. It's on the 7th of November. So Friday, next Friday. So um, we'll be posting a, uh, a flyer about it later. I'll let, um, I'll let um, uh, the staff put that up. So if you're in Atlanta, come to the win next Friday. Also, man, shout out to uh, FMG, man, who's going to be performing at the back in uh, back in school concert prayer, prayer school. next uh yeah back in uh, prayers back in school but yeah. ne next uh sunday man so that's awesome man yeah man all right so let's get back into it you in the field this is a track stars exclusive yeah. what is we
one time for the life of the misfit. Two times for my son and his sister. Three times for their mom who birthed them both and put me in a position I'm into. It's real life when I lay on these instruments. Why them people feel love at the men's stores? We've been trilled, not to mention we've been wrong. But the game's still going act like we ain't on. My kids gotta eat, so I play on. Young ones in the hood waiting on them boys. Once you plug, leave it home anyway. They fuck us too. Others try to copy what they watch, but this is what we do. Purposely positioning ourselves so we can get to you. Tell you that the father's love for you is unconditional. Uh, and we got love and this is you. This is true. First one. That's right, you know what it is, the move maker JDL from the legendary Cold Crush Brothers, all right? But check it, what you need to do is check out Track Stars Radio. Word up, my man Santana and them. They be doing it real big, so don't forget, Track Stars Radio, holla!
make it all by myself. I tried to deal once, but I need your help. I cannot live unless you give breath. I know that you're right, but still I went left. Okay, step back and I look at the whole picture. You're making my soul with you, decided to roll with you. Every time I'm weak, you're making me whole with you. And your brain, all your might and your power along with you. Got a brother holler how you do that deal. Taking God out the equation, homie, we don't deal. Every single time I fall, catching me right there. So we appraise him in the storm, Charlotte, we don't care. Cool, cool, cool. When I'm weak, I know that you're strong and it won't be long if I just hold on. Always there and never been gone. Cause strength for your help and not on my own. I ain't gone. What's going on? I got my SPF on LU Stand Up. Now, I'm in the field with Track Stars right now. I had a blessed time. Hopefully, you guys are listening. If you're not, then you're losing. Holla at me. Out. This is Humble Tip. Yeah, back in the field with the Track Stars. Ryan Righteous, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Okay, so you saw us do uh, the Lecrae review. Uh, thought that was pretty helpful. So we decided to also do one for Triple E. So we listened to the album. Um, I admittedly did not hear the last two songs, but everybody else heard it, everything. Um, so just as always, your overall impression. Then we'll go over what you wish you could see in the future. And then we'll leave, you know, with what your final thoughts are. All right. So what y'all think? I'm not starting. I'll start. From what I heard, I only missed two songs. I thought it was great. I loved the, the direction he was going in. I prefer this feel, but again, this is personal. I prefer this feel to his older stuff. My opinion. I don't. I, I don't like, again, I said it on the last line for line. I'm not a gr- big, big fan of the super Christian hip hop. Like, it's, it's fine every now and then, but I love the levels that Gabi hit with the tracks. I thought it was. Of course, some of it, people complained that it felt like it was, it sounded like, um, Anomaly. Zero to 100. Oh, okay. Um, I, thought I thought it sounded, honestly, I thought it sounded better than Anomaly. No, I don't think I so. I thought it did. I enjoyed it more, anyway. Um, but I thought the Manolo song was good. I thought, uh, Sweet, whatever those songs were called, were good. I mean, it had, it just had a good feel to me overall. And I thought he did well on the tracks, the song to his son, like all of that. I just, yeah. it just felt better to me. Sweet. Did remind me of Believe Me though. Believe me, yeah. By, um, Drake and but I, Lola. like I said last week, I need somebody to go that direction because to me, a lot of Christian hip hop sounds super aggressive. Let me rap really fast to you type stuff, and I need somebody to go into the bounce lane, and it felt like that more so to me than everything else I've been hearing. So see, that's I not, thought it was good. That's not the lane I want to. I see. It. I want to see him go in. Like, I want plenty of stuff. I want to see him go back to old trip. Like, I, that I, was my favorite trip. Nah, I and I think. That. I think one of the things I noticed about this album is that um, um, I always it's it's like whenever a Reach album comes out, I, it seems like I always re rank my my Reach artists in, in 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 lieu of favorites. And last year I had Andy at the top, but Lecrae's back at my top with Anomaly. And this album I'm actually putting it under Andy, but I'm putting Anomaly above Andy. See what I'm saying? So I'm ranking them differently because I like the old trip better. On this album, I heard a lot of the anomaly sounding songs, kind of like 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 um, uh, what is it? Manolo kind of sound like Dirty Water. Not think so about it. Think me. about the beat. Think about the beat. I am thinking about it. I think about the beat. You you'll hear it. Go back and listen to it. I promise you. Can I you play it? I think. I'll but play it later. Okay, but um, then but, also, um, I think Manolo kind of res- remind me of the joint with. Um, Lecrae and Andy. No, no, because the what was the song we were listening to? I think it was um, um, Insomniac. I think that sound like uh, Andy and Lecrae more so. You think so? Yeah. yeah. And I think what it was on Manolo, uh, Lecrae started sounding like Andy did on um, Say I Won't. Like you could hear the same kind of yeah. flow pattern and the same kind of like switch up of the of the song. It was maybe that's what I'm thinking about. Say I yeah. won't. Say I won't. Say I won't. Sounding more like uh, Manolo will have that same feel to me. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 
But uh, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad you said. I don't hear that. I uh, I think overall, overall the album was great to me. It was really good. Uh, Triple E definitely went to another direction, and I think a majority of that was due to one with God be producing. He's a very outlandish producer. So coming at him with different styles of beats kind of switched up his how he wanted to attack it. And so I think that kind of changed his create his creative flow when it came to it. I personally think it's better. I do enjoy old trip, but at the same time I enjoy new trip in that it is more so rides. You know what I mean? I don't necessarily see the similarities. I see the similarities with, you know, with Anomaly and with you know, Andy Minio, the album. But I see those similarities more so because Gavi works for Reach as their yeah, producer. it's the same guy. And so since it's the same person producing it, the feel is going to be the same because that's his style. Mm. I, don't, I don't think... I think the direction it's going is because of almost Andy's sound is influencing Reach, to me personally. Like, thinking about, like, if you're thinking about, like... um. Um, the song I'm trying to think of a song off of um, Heroes No Heroes for Sale or Not, not No Heroes for Sale. He had a uh, um, Not Neverland Bad. Um, he had a song where it was like Bitter or um, Say You Will the, like those the EP no not the EP talking about the album Andy's album okay well his album he has some joints on there that I feel like they're using more and maybe because it was more um, Medina and Gavi doing those beats but it seems like that sound is kind of defining the reach sound almost and like I said it could be because of the producers who are, of course Gavi and what's the name which they do an incredible job um, at what they do um, but I think my favorite song honestly um, on the record was You Don't Know that joint was tough it come on so rough like it, it's trip it's like Trip going back to who he used to, not used to be, but Trip like back in the day. Trip like how you like I like old school Trip. Like you don't know, it's tough. And Garvey did his thing on it. It sounds like trap Trip. <laughs> it sounds like trap Trip. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I was like, yo, this thing's tough. So, well, I just want to say I think that the the album sounds really good. Um, honestly, I, I think I missed about three tracks myself. But I think that it sounds really good, really progressive. I think that, you know, you'll, he'll capture a larger audience um, with this particular album. So although I enjoyed his music in the past, I think that this album kind of takes it to the next level. And I mean, as artists, you have to grow anyway. So I feel like it's a good direction for him to grow in and capture more people, reach more people and just um, spread the word with it. So I think that it's, it's awesome. And uh, my favorite track definitely is Insomniac. So, you know, it's in my car just going nuts. I'm, you know, I almost ran over a couple people with it. So. <laughs> You know, <laughs> what I love about this album actually more so than Anomaly is that I feel like um, this album does a better job of taking you on a journey and um, the tracks are a lot more diverse to me um, yeah. and so that may be kind of what you were alluding to um, I mean it literally one track it tracks go from one extreme to the other but it flows like literally the intros and the outros the transitions between the songs take you on a journey and so I, I appreciate that all right, let's hear from the critic, Mr. Hard Nose. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> um, so the album itself, I mean, the whole thing, I love it. Um, my favorite track is the, probably the shortest. That's something new. I mean, that was hot. Yeah, it, 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 it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It was a little intricate trip, but I was like, no pun intended. But at the same time, like, I felt like it was too short. Like, I was like, man, did he only write one? Like, was it only intended for one? I was surprised word? it didn't say interlude next to it. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Um, did you notice that it was one minute and 16 seconds? Oh, that's oh right. there you go. Actually, 17. I, I got, we, on, we, on we, iTunes is one minute and 16 seconds. Oh. I, say I don't know why, but oh. yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, but go ahead. That's uh, a good. That's a good catch, though. Uh, that was neat. I didn't think about that. Um, light song. Actually, I could probably listen to that song for the rest of my life. If I, you know how people say, like, if you could go on an island, you can only take one song. Mm -hmm. If I can only, I'm, 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 I'm hope he hears. This. I didn't like, like that. Song. I love that song from the beginning <laughs> to the end. But that would be. But my you got song. a weird ear, though, right? I do have a weird ear. Yeah. I mean, if it's not, if it's not down south, if it's not hidden. I'm, I'm not giving it too much. I'm attention. telling you, you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I heard that, but I'm talking about, um, like, uh, insomniac. Like it came on. That was hot. 
I was like, hey, hey, hey. here we go. For, for y'all don't know, Ryan Righteous love trap type beats and fast rapping. I do. Yeah, so man. if you want to win in line for line, you have to add some of those songs here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to put a little bit of Waka Flock in there. Get my ear. <laughs> Oh, how y'all? I mean, how y'all feel about Lazarus? I felt Lazarus sounded like something on Man Up. I didn't like the hook. I didn't like the hook. I didn't like the hook. I like the sound. But um, I again, whatever. I thought it was good <laughs> overall. So, um, you liked it better than Anomaly? I did actually. Really? I did. It's a beautiful album. Uh, I think I like the feel of Anomaly. I think I like the fact that Lecrae is just different on Anomaly, and I, I was excited about that. I think Lecrae has more options to get. Um, more production because they know who Lecrae is. Like somebody like a S1 or like a Knife Wonder can give a beat to Lecrae because he knows who Lecrae is. Yeah. Versus like some other people on his label. Not saying he's saving the best beats for himself. Just saying that like people could be like, I don't really know who Triple E is. I know he's down with Lecrae, but I don't know who he is. So should I give him a beat or versus or we don't even know if Trip want to take a beat from somebody. Yeah, yeah. I mean there's, that's yeah. a that's a strategic decision. Yeah. That is, that's not an accident to yeah. get Gavi to do the whole thing. I don't yeah. know. I don't know how he. I would love to. I don't think he would ever tell the truth, but I would love to hear what he thinks about the direction to reach because he he makes decisions. <laughs> no, seriously, he makes he makes decisions that don't hundred percent line up with everything else. Trip. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so I don't know. I, I don't know what he would say. But probably the right thing. Yeah, but, but I was um, saying the biggest direction he kind of came out and co-signed on when he said, yeah, I'm, yeah. "I'm not a Christian, true, true. I'm not a Christian rapper." Um, but yeah, he always seems to have an idea of what he wants to do on his own. He doesn't seem too swayed by everything else around him. But um, Gabby killed it, man. I, I, for one producer yeah. to do an entire album, it felt like yeah. it moved around. It didn't feel like one dude was doing everything. It, yeah, I thought he killed it. Honestly, yeah, he did. I will say this. I will say this. After hearing um, Ciara tell me about the testimony of the album, I, I really felt a, a deeper connection with yeah. the project. That yeah. was that was deep. I mean, to, to find out that he's going through that and he's now ready openly to share about that was crazy. Does everybody know that situation? Can you you read the article right? Uh, briefly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so basically, what's going on is that uh, for the last seven years, he has been um, dealing with a fatigue. Uh, issue where he only can stay awake for six hours out of the day. Wow. So 18 hours out of the day, he's sleeping, basically. And he talks about how it it creates problems in his household with his children and his wife. And I mean, I would imagine just being an artist, you know what I mean? Like, you go on tour and they're not seeing him, but for the time he's actually on stage. So, I mean, I think that's, that's really crazy. I mean, I can't imagine... It's like one of those things where when Ciara finally told me about it or she told me about it on the way up, I was thinking, that's one of those things you never think about. You never think about having a handicap like that, you know, where um, you have a, a issue that no one else in the world is really dealing with and they don't know you're dealing with it. I mean, but then you put yourself in that person's shoes in the thought process and you're like, wow, that's... That's hard to carry. Can you guys fill me in on? I know um, there was a period where he like said he was finna leave the game and focus on being a pastor and stuff. Can can anybody fill me in just on his journey with that and like Didn't what he brought finish? him back? He well, no. Ciara was telling me that one of the things he mentioned is that uh, because of his disorder. It would have taken him too long to go through school. Oh, so he, he didn't get. He didn't finish. Okay, yeah. but he is a. Preacher, he is right? a preacher. Yeah, part time, right? Go ahead. So he wasn't going to be full time because it was going to take off too much. So he said that if he had done it full time, that the um, album would have been 10 years. It would have taken 10 years. So he went ahead. So he's like part time, part time minister. Okay. Yeah, man. So he was, he did his thing, you know, he did what he wanted to do. Um, but all right. So but I think, I think we for, keep forgetting that they got history together. Him and Gavi, like going back to the music and the, the collaboration, they they got history together. I mean, you think about Superstar, G Styles, who's G Styles, yeah. Gavi. Like, yeah. I mean, those type of records that trip. Like, uh, just remembering us doing line for line with him and Wayne, and just thinking about you know 
just that superstar track yeah, was, yeah. was good. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I, I just think I think they 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 work very well to get they get together. Um, I think I think just my impression of the album. It, it is a very good album. Um, Reach. I just think, man, like. They're they're good at every like they're really good at packaging it because I think at the same time I think we we, we kind of pull away from that as well the art of the album how it looks you know what I'm saying because at the same that's time I got no money I, <laughs> I mean, no, no, no 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 I'm saying but at the same time you got to look at stuff too because I remember years ago that was our conversation was like yo that looks kind of whack that looks dope you know what I'm saying like those things all that takes a uh, part of an album being packaged and ready to the world so seeing his album and like to me when I first saw that cover I was like oh that's tough of his face and the branches like mm-hmm. being the vine and the tree oh that was tough so I think we I think you gotta give credit to everything too the music is always gonna is always gonna be good and dope man you know what I'm saying but the whole packaging of the album was yeah. dope alright so so what are we saying we wish we could have heard on this and possibly what we wish we could have seen what, what, what we would like to see in the future from Trip old Trip come back okay <laughs> you don't even know she wanted to say anything. You just handed him. Yeah, I mean it's kind of like round for long, I guess, yeah. going around. That's cool. Like, you know, just to see him continue in the direction that he's going now. You know, just continue so the to elevate. Of him. Yeah, the opposite, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, continue to elevate. You know, and and just do what he does and and, and spread the word. Um, I kind of like more, uh, more so of a. Uh, more chill tracks because this one had a lot of turn up like yeah. I could go in this whole almost this whole album and yeah. just turn jump around I would like some more laid back tracks from the trip yeah <laughs> I don't know. Um, I would I would love to see him to continue to go in this direction, and then I guess I would also love to see stronger hooks. I'm I'm a hook person. Like I I, I love when stuff is etched in my brain after you know the first listen because that's what keeps people coming back. So, um, I would say what I would like to see more from Trip is um, huh? There's no pun intended. Reach out to other artists. That's not in your familiar circle that you may the trip. Think, yeah, that's like, true. I don't like, see him on a lot of other. Yeah, yeah, like I mean, like that you may like, and you like, oh, they dope. You know, what I man. I would like this. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that's just like I think Lecrae does that very well. Like if he likes somebody, and if he's he's convo with him, he he record with them. You know what I mean? Here he give those things, and I think. I would love to see more features with them besides people that's in that circle of 116 and, you know, that they kind of, quote unquote, um, have a repertoire with or have some some type of relationship with. Um, And then also, man, um, I think I would like to see him like just I, 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 I like honestly, like to me, Trip is like my favorite artist. Cause he he represents that East Coast. He has like an East Coast mentality of rapping, but he's a down south dude. You know what I'm saying? So I get that from him. Um, so I, I I think that's what I like about about him. Um, so I think that to me that's it. Just like more collabs, and then also just um I would like to see him. I don't know, man. I, I think Trip. I, I like Trip, man. So I, I I really can't see. I just say collaborations, more collabs outside the circle. I would say what Maya said about the hooks, man. Like as far as this project, I felt like I feel like that's his. I feel like that's his weak point because lyrically, man, verses he he got it. But at the same time, like I listen to track like Manolo, and it's like yeah, it give me jump. But it's like I was saying to my wife, I was like, you know what? Listen to Manolo, and if it wasn't Trip, it was somebody completely else. If you didn't know who it was, would you still like it? And I was like, no. It, it was it was just absent, but other than that, I mean, just the continue of honesty, man. Like I love his honesty on this album. Um, Triple E, you know, opening up about his his thorn in the flesh, basically. You know, even on the sweet, uh, what was it sweet, a victory or whatever, like calling it, you know, his thorn in his flesh. Like that's that's real. That will preach, and it's like because of that, I feel like that song can really minister on a greater level than a lot of Christian hip hop. Um, so even. For trip on his next project and every other Christian hip hop artist, I want to see more honesty. I want to know who you are. I want to know what your testimony is. Um, I don't think I got anything, man. I, I thought it was good. Like I said, I it, I enjoyed listening through it. Um, I, I, I guess I could echo what everybody else said. I, I didn't notice that yet. Yeah, trip, it would be nice to see him on other people's stuff. Um, and 
more you know tell your story like he 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 alluded to stuff but actually hearing what you think about your life allowing us to hear that is is powerful and um all of these artists i would love for them to I, get away like forget people like ryan and get away from the turn up stuff and just be honest on music like that to me that impacts me more than just boom 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 yeah. because once that song is over you will never listen to it again but a song that really speaks to you you'll listen to that for your rest honestly of your life. i think it's the opposite i think people listen to turn up music to get them pumped and ready for stuff and then they listen to those other stuff when they chilled out and relaxed or if they just doing something around the house and they letting the album ride so the turn up is like yo i'm about to go we're about to play we're about to go play some type of sport or i'm about to go chill out with my friends when, i need something to bounce when's the to. last time you listened to triple e's old album uh i listen to it regularly i do i'm serious <laughs> i got it right here on my phone you listen to his old album regularly. Talking about the good life, or are you talking about um, uh, twenty twenty? Oh no, no, I don't listen to the regular. So what I'm saying is, is that to me, it's fine to have those turn up stuff. You you actually have to have it, but yeah. to me, I want to hear something that that like makes you go like, whoa. Well, I told you, know? you, I think I think I like the good life better than this new album. Okay. You know, um, I mean the the good life was just I don't. But, I don't. Oh yeah, that's cool. The good life to me was uh, um, a feel good. I mean, you know, like he had the song with um, what Jimmy Needham, right? So he had some different artists. He had uh, uh, Susie Rock or Natalie Lauren on on the project. Yeah, did you? Yeah, check I heard the track it. with the yeah. when he was talking about like porn, basically. Like he was yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. That was real. But what I'm saying is, like, I, I feel like he um, he had a lot of diversity in the last album, and I, I enjoyed that. But for me, I'm just still kind of like, if I if I'm saying that the album was like 100 percent for me, it was anomaly, and I'm pro probably using anomaly to judge everything else. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right, well, that's it. Let us know what you guys think. Give it your rating as well. You in the field with the track stars. Ryan Wright to Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. Ryan Wright to Sean Tanner. All the buses, we giving y'all five seconds to get close to an exit. Track stars, come out and pray. Five seconds is up. Let's go. You have just uh, been uh, bored. Uh, this is the mission field with the track stars. Get into it. You're welcome to the mission field with the track stars, Ryan Righteous and Sean Tanner. Tanner, Tanner, Tanner. Yeah. Uh, focus. Let's do it. Your game, everybody won't see ya. Don't get you a little fame, everybody won't be ya. Thirst that, want that, need that, it's on wax. But if it ain't that real, though, same one's gonna leave That's ya. Why I get it, check it now. I don't need it, stick it up, tryna hold me down. Put it all on blast, like I'ma hold it down. Hit it to the ground, squeeze it to the life is gone. It don't make a sound. Hold up, I know what you want. Partner, I could put you on. Ladies everywhere, and they tryna get you home. Show you love like you're sitting on the throne Hold up Let you say what I be on Still when I go, go, I go hard Get it in like no tomorrow Now you know, know it gets hard With the Lord I can do it all oh, Focused on my Focused on my goal, man I'm focused on my what? Focused on my goal Like I'm focused on my what? Focused on my goal, man I'm focused on my goal Focused on my what? Look Everybody won't say so, won't hit records on this act. Nine to five, my main flow, make good on my rent check. Lights out, grind out, then fly back, never time out. Rock stage for no pay, but I'm all into them lights That's out. Why I it, check it now. I don't need it, stick it up. Try to hold me down. Put it all on blast, like I'ma put it down. Hit it to the ground. Squeeze it to the life is gone, it don't take a sign. Hold up, I know what you want. Partner, I could put you on. Ladies everywhere, and they trying to get you home. Show you love like you're sitting on the throne. Hold up. Ooh. Let you say what I be on. Still when I go, go, I go hard. Yeah, like no tomorrow. Now you know, now it gets hard. With the Lord, I can do it all. Oh, still when I go, go, I go hard. Yeah, like no tomorrow. Now you know, now it gets hard. I believe the finish line 
can see your I don't know what is waiting for me, but I'ma find out. And all of my days, I'ma, I'ma focus on you. Yo, what's good? It's your man Double. City Takers, no fuck music in the building. Right now, you in the field with the track stars, and we in the field getting our hands dirty. You dig? I got my bags packed, and I ain't looking back. You ain't no more living in the past. I, 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 I got no time for that. I gotta do what I gotta do. Gotta hit that runway. Someone let me out. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling just like me. It's 
hard work, we see action. They they try to skip the label. Sit them boys to the C section. We live this, no B racks, and we got class, don't need credits. Train ourselves in godliness, and it's obvious. The little problem is that my click strong and I win slow. Beast mode, don't switch off, and our day start before it hits dawn, and we finish it when y'all getting up. I hate the pain when I wait the track. 5 a.m. I know it late, but I'ma buckle down. Start for now, cause I'ma be the champ for my whole life. Oh, KG against my team, y'all boys won't float like Macy's. They parade on the money they make it on, but that money won't save them. See, they think that my guys won't break them. Take them down, you don't really wanna wake us. Hey, time, you don't really wanna play us. You boys better step up, stand and take them. They know. Everybody, this is Sivion Deep Space Five Elect Recordings. You're in the mix with Track Stars Radio. Peace. Yeah, back in the field with the Track Stars, Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. It is time for another noteworthy segment. All right, this one uh, actually got submitted with the Track Stars Pro app. If you want to submit noteworthy, um, just using your phone, go to the Track Stars Pro app and submit it that way, and we'll get it the same kind of way. So this one is called Demon Killer. It says, hey, track stars, I'm an aspiring Christian rapper. Uh, yes, a Christian rapper, not a rapper who is a Christian. And lately I've been changing uh, <laughs> shots fine. I've been changing up my lyrical content. I was raised in a church, but I didn't get saved till I was halfway through high school. Ever since I was young, I was always attracted to darker forms of entertainment. For a few years, I listened to nothing but horrorcore, which is essentially horror or demonic themed hip hop. And I even started writing my own music. After I got saved, I reluctantly started listening to Christian rap. I had nothing against the Cray and Reach, but I wanted something that wasn't preachy. I discovered T-Bone, and in his earlier music, he rapped in detail about killing demons, and it made me wonder if it was possible to make the dark music I grew up on while staying in line with the Bible. What do you guys think? Demon Killer. Okay. Um, I think it's dangerous. Okay. I think it's dangerous. I think it's dangerous to to kind of go that route, um, especially when you're coming off of something that uh, you used to take it. Yeah, you used to like take it in, and you took it in for all the wrong reasons. That's, but you, that's it. Uh, every Christian hip hop artist out there right now. Well, no, but I'm talking about like <laughs> this. Is, this is a little bit more sinister, wow. in my opinion. I feel like the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, so therefore, yeah. why are we gonna use carnal weaponry to like fight demons like that? So, and if you if you if you people say that same thing about hip hop in general, if you're a Christian rapper, like when Christian rap first started coming out, people didn't play it because they they straight up said you're taking something that the world made. They they attributed the creation of that style of music to the devil when. It's in the Christian faith, it's known that he can't create anything. And that's how it started to come back because the understanding that he can't create a style of music came into. So it's like, if we use it for God's glory, it's for God's glory. So, now, okay. So give me a good reason why you would want to make basically the equivalent of... The rock has a... What's it called? Um, what's the rock version of this? Gothic death metal. Maybe, so maybe something like I've heard. I've heard that. When you do that, they got like, rah, 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 rah. and he's saying, "I love Jesus" and, and all that other stuff. Um, yeah, that was I, I, really I, good. <laughs> that was really good. So, um, um, he said, "I like a real name." My voice would be gone. You ever seen them dudes after they talked about? Yeah, um, you're gonna. Yeah, we had to see it. Like nothing. Like, um. Mm, Okay, let, let's let's do a little history um, doing this Christian hip hop. Back in the day, in Christian hip hop, like like say maybe really before the cross movement era, 
um, a lot of cats were demon killers. Like yeah. they who, were who killing we, demons. We had somebody who was them. killing a demon in every track. Austin. Miles Austin. Miles yeah. Austin used to kill at least two demons in every track. Well, our first Independence Day mixtape, it was Go like, back and I find kill it. a demon like in the it, 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 it was yeah. just so Have funny. the devil sitting Indian we, style yes. reading the Bible. <laughs> we gonna keep rapping till the devil gets saved. Oh, my. So, I mean, there, there, there is a temptation when you first start to be slaying demons. Because uh, l- let me be honest, because I remember being tempted to talk about killing stuff. The truth is, you really want to use gun bars, but you don't have anybody to kill in your gun bar. So you you lean towards demons because that's okay yeah. to kill a yeah. demon when you really want to be talking about killing so and so, but it's it's Christian to kill a demon so you can still use your gun bars twelve gauge shoddy to body did it you know what I mean like it it allows you to use these gun bar metaphors without yeah. feeling like you're doing something wrong. But I think at the end of the day, I think back in the day they was talking that stuff because uh, more I think people. Oh, wow. I really don't want to get into this conversation, but I think we have to. I think people were more spiritual Christianity than reform Christianity. I'm about, I'm about I agree the rest. 100%. I was about to say that. Because you know it's what like, mean? like the people that's like everything's a spirit. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like. Because I think like I'm thinking about a lot of great. This is before people talk. Grape Tree Records. A lot of their artists was talking about killing demons. Um, um, Different things like that. I don't. I think I think right now in Christian hip hop, I think we we've kind of evolved from uh, that. Yeah. But I think at the same time, spirituality. I think this is the way you could talk about killing demons. Like, like if you if a demonic situation is um, a young lady coming to your house late at night and she shouldn't be there, you could talk about that, but not in no like you know what I mean fight. It's almost like. Um, Hunger Games by the Truth. You ever heard that song? Mm-hmm. Like that song is the epitome of when you listen to it. Like those those temptations that you gotta fight. You're not killing the. You're not literally like shooting a demon, but you are killing that that your flesh. You're crucifying Temptation. your flesh when you call your friend and say, "Hey, man, old girl about to come in the house, and it's not gonna happen. It, it, it's really gonna be bad if she come in here." So you know what I'm saying? No situations where you're. You know what I'm saying? Um, but. I, I, th- I think I think people may be turned off for it, but at the same time, people may like you may you may reach somebody that not, listen not, to hard, hardcore. Not, not, that's isn't that the argument for anything people really just want to do yeah. just for themselves is you, I could reach the people who listen to it. When I think a lot of people, let's be honest, how many Christian hip hop artists really decided to rap so they can reach people who listen to rap, or they want to rap? And they want to do it the right way. That's two different things. You see what I'm saying? Like, I want to rap regardless. But since I'm a Christian, I'm going to rap about Jesus. Versus what what we hear is the reason is I'll use whatever it takes to reach the lost. And the lost around me, like hip-hop, so I'm going to use hip-hop. I'd say there's a 10% of the people out there really do it for that reason. I think a lot of the times it's, this is what I like myself. I want to do it. Here's a Christian reason for me to do it. Isn't that what we do it? And, and I, yeah, and I and I agree with that. One reason why is because you may have that I want to reach these people in my area, so I'm going to rap. But usually that's ineffective in the fact that you may not be gifted to do so. I'd rather have somebody who was gifted to do so, and your gifts have been called back to the body, than someone who's just trying to attain a new gift for the purpose of evangelism. You do have your own gift that you are gifted to do. I would also say, too, just I would really, really, really ask God to re- reveal to you the root of you um, being drawn to horror core. Am I saying it right? Yeah. yeah. To begin with, Um because I think there's something else there that's deep seated. I don't know if it's a level of um, uh, aggression or hatred or whatever. And until you deal with that, you won't get the release to flip it. You know what I mean? Like it won't be anointed. Here's a couple. Here's a couple things that it could be. It could be that the aggression, but there's also a lot of warnings in the Bible. About people who become fascinated with spirits, it, it warns against doing uh, anything with mediums, yeah. um, anything with the occult, anything. Even if you feel like you have a good reason, there was a person in the Bible that was doing things, and they had to be told, you know, about it. He also he also warned about 
people who astrology. We've done this topic before. Yeah. The reason he he didn't want anybody to focus on the stars so much that they started worshiping the stars. They they're so fascinated with the unexplainable that you got drawn into when you start make believing all these gods and all these things that don't exist. You see what I'm saying? So the the the. It could be that you have a deep-seated, like, I want to yell and I want to scream and I want to talk about gory stuff. Or it could be that you're developing this fascination with the spirit world that may be dangerous. Because you don't really want to fight a demon. You know what I mean? Like, you don't yeah. really no, want to. Really. That. But you know what, 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 what that about, what if, let's, okay, let's be real, man. We have people that, I mean, right now the world is kind of fascinated about demonic um um, oppression and this guy could really be a spiritual warfare person like you know if you ever been met people where where you they they like they're praying and they're praying on behalf of people and they like yeah. they, they they battle quote unquote in the spirit so, so yeah. that so could here, be something for him too here's the thing here's the problem i don't know what this means have you ever heard christian horrorcore like what i've is never it? heard no christian horrorcore horrorcore is basically like uh, I saw something recently. It's like basically imagine a horror movie where people are rapping um, about killing people. At one time, people, like Eminem. yeah, like some shady, like some shady, shady LP or Tech Nine or um, I ain't gonna name other people because those probably more. But like Tech Nine would probably be known where people were probably at one time calling him hardcore or um, or ICP. And see, that. Insane mm. Clown Posse. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah, yeah, so yeah. stuff like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, yeah man. You, I, it's 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 hard for me because honestly, I'm on a on a tip. Like, it's a reason God has you with these situations because honestly, you could be somebody. Where it's like God wants to use you to know what such and such is. Like, like if you walking past somebody and you feel like, yo, they got a ang- they got a spirit of anger on them. God, what do you, do you want me to talk to them? What do you want me? I've seen people like yeah. that. Yeah. Like literally, they have the power. Like we talked about earlier, where it's like the supernatural, the power of the supernatural, and understanding God and how God like different things and calling stuff out of people. So that could be uh, somewhere where He is, but He just doesn't know it. Yeah, yet. but here's the thing. Here's the difference. That's why I. Say Said you got to make sure you know why you're doing this because it's a difference when you know you have the gift to to slay demons in the spirit or whatever people say, or you liked horrorcore and now you're trying to slay demons for Jesus with the same stuff. Like that's a different approach to it. You may not have any gift of doing that, and now you just like the music, so you just want to do it as a Christian. That's different. If somebody had the gift to, I don't. What does that mean, demon? Like. Horrorcore demon killing. Are you? Do you uh, give me? Help me out with this. So if I'm writing a verse, I'm a rapper. Does that mean that would be helpful? But like, if I'm a rapper, what what's what is the difference? Is it you know uh, I'm a you know rip your head off demon and cut your it's organs similar. out and it's, your it's veins from your legs and your. Is it similar almost in rock music with the difference between where you have. You have you have what's called like hard rock, where it's like okay, we got power chords and such. Yeah. But then there's a there's a difference when you get into like scream up. It's like that difference. It's a fine line to where it's like it's it's at one it's almost it's it's a darker feel of the hip hop. So it's like it's, it's like not, it's like major seven chords, just really loud and 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 like minors and you know that kind of stuff where it sounds like it's off, but it's it's just really aggressive. It sounds dark. dark. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I think this is what he was talking about when he was talking about like. Um, T Bone, T Bone has a song called Demon Executor. With my load of tech rhymes, spraying bullets from the top of the mind. Cause I'm the lyrical, miracle, spiritual teacher. Nicaragua street preacher, right. who's out to reach a group of thugs who some call the X generation. The penetration of lyrical bullets of salvation. So bring the toughest nah. demon be screaming. That's not start dumping. No way, I'm talking about demons like a gang initiation. Yeah, like that. Who wanna mess with the craziest say, of them all? <laughs> When he was talking about I'm jumping demons like a gang initiation, or but but what he's talking about is something. I mean, I can't play the stuff that he's talking about because it's a little bit. So you you just mean, like I said before, it's like if it wasn't you, you basically put demons in a place of where Wayne would say, "I'm putting holes to your door, and if I miss one, tell that dude I owe him." You basically replace people with demons. Same kind of aggressive. I'm gonna kill you lyrics. But you're talking about demons, so it's okay. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Okay. I think it's a little dark. I mean, I just feel like it's a yeah, little darker. Yeah, I think it's darker But you than just, I mean, the spiritual realm is real, not just, you know, as it relates to God, but 
I mean, seriously. So whatever you're tapping into, and this is whether it's hardcore rock, whether this is even hip hop, there are certain you have to know what you're fighting. And the more you know what you're fighting, the more you need to equip yourself to fight it because it's real. Like this is not just some lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Like you literally have to be prepared to war in the spirit. Yeah. I think too, you know, like like you said, you know, just self examine your heart, you know, for sincerity so you your your ministry doesn't become a tainted obsession. So you're not just doing because you like it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, if the with the question like with the music sounding darker, like like I've told y'all before, like I love Michael Gunger stuff. Like I love that like, you know, the intricate sound. It doesn't sound like, you know, you're stereotypical, but at the same time, I think that we could even get that in hip hop because I had this conversation with my wife. I was like, yo, you know, I, I felt like even CHH has been in this state before, but it's like, like y'all ever been in like a, uh, you know, like a youth group or whatever, and it's like it's like they they have to forcefully say Jesus, and it's like I feel like that even with this guy's music, I'm like, yo, like does it have to forcefully just say like Jesus, you know what I mean, like the whole darker thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I feel you, I feel you. It's not what you say, but it's really what's in you. Like you have to have some weight behind what you say, whether you're saying Jesus, 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 or you're talking about slaying demons or whatever. Like, all right, so we gotta wrap this up, but because we gonna talk about this for a long time, but I think overall what we're trying to say is this is your area. We don't know this area as well as you. You gotta really pray yourself through this and make sure this is not a personal passion versus a God given passion. That's for everybody. All right, you in the field with the track stars, Ryan. Right to Shantan and DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. Some trust in us on chariot. We trust them in the true and living God, you know? Yeah. Let's go. Man, I step up. You know, said that them can't talk to yeah. we. Turn the flame up and take it to a hundred degree. Yeah. Man, I step up. You know, said that them can't talk to yeah. we. Turn the flame up and take it to a hundred degree. Man, I step up. You know, said that them can't talk to we. Turn the flame up and take it to a hundred degree. Man, I step up. You know, said that them can't talk to we. Turn the flame up. I'll take it to a hundred degrees. Give me the Bible, 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 give me the B
heat. Turn the flame up and take it to a hundred degree. Man, I step up. You know, said that them can't talk to we. Turn the flame up and take it to a hundred degree. Man, I step up. You know, said that them can't talk to we. Turn the flame up and take it to a hundred degree. Man, I step up. You know, said that them can't talk to we. Turn the flame up and take it to a hundred degree. Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Premises, and you are in the field with the track stars. Get ready to go line for line. Team Nutso, we in here. Yeah, man. We got something We got something about to go off right now. Um, line for line. Jam the hype. I feel it. I feel it. It's really warm in here, man. <laughs> but it's all good. All right, man. Um... This is a part two, man. We've been on trip all day, so we might as well do part two with trip. Mr. T.I. versus Trip Lee, part two. Oh, no. And it's all paperwork oh, versus. Uh, hands down. <laughs> <laughs> versus Roz. So it's no. It's just their to date stuff. And I think your wife would want to be in this because she's a big T.I. Yeah, fan. She was going to stay out there until she heard what it was. So, this is. Yeah. We're going to get this thing going with. um um Let's get it going real quick. Wait. So, um, just for people who, who don't understand what line for line is, anybody want to. Tell them what line for line is if you're new everybody, to the game. Everybody in here knows, but I'm listening to the radio. I got you. Um, <laughs> basically, we came up with it years and years ago. Yeah, I mean the the gist was, um, it's for people. It's for a lot of people now, but originally it was for people like me. When I was in um, high school, I thought Christian hip-hop was whack. I wasn't that wrong. Uh, Jeremiah <laughs> Jeremiah disagreed with me, so we had arguments a lot back in the day about is is it ready. And I, we didn't even start with rap. We started with Ken Jones and R. Kelly. One day he yeah. came in, he was like, yo, I think I think Ken Jones is better than R. Kelly. I was like, what? Are you crazy? I mean, I know you like this stuff, but it ain't that good. You know? <laughs> but then, but then um, he start, we did a battle like live. The first line for line was like off the top. Like I played a song, he found a song that matched it. I played a song, he played a song that matched it. And it was so interesting to me. It really proved to me that well, the music was better than I thought it was. And and I think the the big enemy we're trying to fight um, and why we came up with Line for Line is because a lot of people don't even listen to Christian hip hop. Yeah. They assume Christian hip hop is whack the way I did. Yeah. They may have heard it at some point when it was whack and they still think it's whack. Yeah. So this forces you to hear it song for song and really decide is it really whack or are you tripping? Yeah. And I think that's what it, it forces you to do. So we've been doing it since and, and, you know, people love it, people hate it, but I think the purpose of it still works and. Keep it moving. Let's go. All right. Um, so we're going to start oh, with. Yeah. So back in the day, we used to do a bunch of toss ups. Like basically a toss up is when you, you feel decide. like both songs are dead even. Like you can't say one definitively beat another one. So we used to some line for lines. We had a ton of toss ups. So along the way, somebody suggested that we don't do toss ups at all. Yeah. But we feel like the toss up is a key tool. So we have one toss up. You're allowed one toss up. Yeah. Per line for line. So choose wisely. All right, man. We're going to do trip first. This is called Manolo. Brick cans, but they do the same thing. Double ends, double barrel. Bang, bang, so. I'm out here facing dragons. I ain't out my mind. Bang, bang. They coming from a soul, so it's bad that time. Bang, bang. Them lads, they trying to kill me if you don't believe me. Ugh. I don't care. I don't care. I can't take it easy. Yeah. I'm flipping a page. I'm trigger happy. You're clipping the gauge. Rip, rip. Clicking and hitting the stage. Alright, that was Manolo. This is Tip. New national anthem. Alright, 
turn from a goon to a great young. Never right. complain that you're doing with a tank gun. Uh -huh. We're raising the dick, they ain't a hate young. I yeah. would dodge your police and get the hate young. We hate them too. 38 and him shoot. How to change of the system or take him through. He ain't a killer, but he will if you make him do a homicide here, right there. Put him on trial, let him have a license and then do it with a slip. All right, that was New National Anthem, T.I. versus Manolo. Triple E, who you guys going to go with? hate voting for uh, T.I. because every time I see it in my face, I see him kicking me in the head. <laughs> Nobody knows what you're talking about. I know, you can't just I refer know. to stuff without telling the story. I know. I don't want to tell the story, though. He, well, you he got kicked to. me in the head. You know that. <laughs> Kick me in the head. Anyway, um, uh, I'm going to go with T.I. on that one. I'm going to go with T.I. on that one, yeah. I got trip on that one. I have T.I. on that one. Manolo, that's my favorite song on that album. I got T.I. on that one. I got T.I. on that one. Uh, I liked where the T.I. song was going, but I think I liked Trip Lee's song better. So I got Trip. Trip. Okay. All right, let's go online. Let's go online. Hold on one second. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Um, mine is not updating fast enough. I almost going to go with you two. You got Triple E, Triple E, and T.I. I was going Trip. Triple E. Dang. Who are you going with? Trip. Trip one. Shout out to Jeremy Thomas, Devin Williams, and Amanda Credit. So one's it. What, what a chalkboard at, man. I know. It's Trip. Right. Ah. The white boy. Yeah, I know we get spoiled with that man. It was the white boy. All right, we're gonna do Ti first. All about the money. Learned that from UGK, back pocket full of stone. Put your money down like a book of hard folk. Playing with it, I'ma send them through your car door. My wife flipped, see it got Pavo. I'm doing it for black and yellow free hard The head honcho, no tanto. I quit to put some bricks in a Bronco. Why I don't respond at all? No murder, no dough, no combo. Money. Don't be blowing me up, ain't getting no If it ain't about the money, ain't no use to you ringing my line Stop wasting my time Alright, that was T.I.P. with um About the Money, here's Triple E Let's go back in time, the late 80s Big town, hold me down, that's where they made me When I'm back up, ain't vacated Why? Feels like I'm home, think I'm about to stay I ain't staying up All right, sweet. Trip Lee versus About the Money Tip. Yeah. Trip. Yeah, I did not like T.I.'s hook on that song. It was kind of whack. So, uh, yeah, Trip on that one easy. Yeah, I would say Trip on that one. T.I.P. <laughs> I actually have to go with T.I.P. too. I'm not crazy about that hook, but it's catchy, dog on it. It's catchy. <laughs> it's Toss up, man. Oh, That's already? it. It's, I, I, what? I, I love you. Gonna regret that. I feel that. I feel and that. And I hope you. Regret I'm gonna force myself to choose. Um, it feels like a toss up, and this is what's gonna win it for me. I have to go clip for clip on this one. To me, the only part I like about that song is the Young Thug part. What are you talking about shooting out the river? I love that part. That part is <laughs> that part is the catchiest part. I shoot of the song. at the. I hate that part. I love that I part. That to me, that to me is the, the only reason that song is on the radio. Because he's shooting part. at the river. I thought I thought that was the catchiest part of the song. So that didn't get that didn't make the clip. So I, I go um, uh, trip on that. I thought the beat and the way Trip attacked it was better than the way Ti attacked his. What did it say online? Trip. All right, here we go. <laughs> so we got we got Trip, Ti, Trip. T.I. Oh. Trip. Trip. Okay. It's, it's Trip. Well, go ahead. Like, um, I would say T. You say T. What? Yeah, T.I. What'd you say? Tip. Oh. Which one was that? So what was that? Is that a toss? Trip took that nine to four. 
Okay. Oh, you said five. So he's yeah, nine to five. Trip took that though. So two zip trip. Mm. Two, zip, two zip trip. All right, here we go. Um, Triple E, you don't know. Make my Alexa show. Obama bad. Yeah, yeah. Every day I'm homicide. Killing that villain with endless. Sometimes it's traumatized. Hey, yeah. But bro, it's not surprising. It brings me joy when I clean up his word. I'm promise right. I promise that it. Regretting it when I'm not a bad. I've been exposed with our men. I'm sending them my men high. All right, that was Trip Lee. You don't know. This T.I. King. I come from Atlanta, the 80s and 90s, but we was in real as it get. And then while we still here, you been wrong what you say you could pay with your life tonight. Go around and get here. As I pray to the Lord, tell him if I should die tonight. Bro, let me pull up a meal inside of the hands of one of the men who's going to go kill or go to the pen. If ever should blood up, my body may spill. Them they partner, they family, they kill. I'm talking for real. You kicking that ride, ride to me. I-L-O-L. Ha ha, to me. Yeah, I do the spirit away. Bye bye to him. Got a made bar. It's like a monster to him. Chewing. Up like the mouth and the teeth before you drop to beneath the belly of the BCG. All right, that was King Tip versus You Don't Know Trip. Who y'all going with? Mm, I really was done with T.I. after Paper Trail, but... Uh, but up until? You were good up until? Huh? Paper Trail I mean, was a couple of years ago, bro. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> um, no, I'm saying that was the last time I listened to him. Okay. Like, last time I actually followed mm-hmm. his career. Um, oh, man. I just don't... I, I'm, it sounds like everybody's trying to like take this uh, uh, Migos flow. Yeah. You hear that? Does everybody else hear that? Yeah. So, with that being said, I'm going to go wow. to yeah. This is like that. Yeah. No, not even that, but it's just like this. Uh, I got a toss up on that one. I couldn't decide. Okay. Yeah. You're done. Done. TI on that one. Yeah, he, he kind of killed that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to toss it up, but um, <laughs> the end of that a little bit was <laughs> phenomenal. So, yeah. TI. Yeah, she took the words out of my mouth because I was about to toss it up too, and then I said, "Oh snap!" <laughs> T.I.P. Y'all falling for the speed flow? Is that what it is? Yeah, no, that's it what was, it is. It was what is that? So wait, wait, I done lost count. What did you say? T.I. Everybody said T.I.P. Oh, you said trip. Okay, so oh, you did a toss up. So four. Yeah. Four. Well, I'm voting trip. Uh, I'm gonna say trip. Whoa, whoa. No, I'm voting Ti on that you one. You know what? Oh, <laughs> you be double nah, voting every show. <laughs> <laughs> and then tweet too vote. and vote. You got tweet and vote. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna toss this one. Toss up. Ti. I've been using one in two shows. Ti. Okay. Right. Hold on. Um. Trip. Ti. Ti. And a lot of y'all ain't vote yet, so you're going to miss your chance. I'm going That's with we got. Trip. Mm, T.I. did that. Mm. So 2-1? Two, one? Yeah, 2-1. Two, two, one. One. Mm. All right, man. Um, we got, a, like, two more after this one. So um, we're going to do T.I. first. It's called Paperwork. Here we go. Paperwork. Picture me in 93. I'm the only man I see. Fresh up off the porch looking for a drop portion of fake ID. Introduce me to the gang rap game with the furthest from my mind. Had a notebook full of rhymes and a pocket full of time on my side. Look, in my jeans, open fire if you seem to be blocking my drink. Yes, sir. Welfare food stamp session eight. Me and Ma lived in the trap. I said, school that holding me back. I wanna. All right, that was paperwork. I think that's gonna be the next single off the album too. Um, it's gonna be the last album. This trip, I'm going. I know you with his ties, Robin. Screeching that that road, gotta get away. I've been plotting my escape, I think it's a day. Cause I've been in bodies who with the sign of last. Try to free myself, but wasn't qualified. Get him high, get him high, get him, get him high. No vacation in my body, no, I ain't feeling last. They say I'm salty, yeah, they keep criticized. But I'm praying for slaying, can't wait for his demise. But you grown and tell people I'm gone. I'm talking about the loser, loser, but you know we gone. All right, that was um, Trip when I'm gone versus paperwork. Um, Ti, before you go, this wow. this this is a good. This just I was thinking about this because I was listening to Ryan's side comments during the songs. <laughs> this is a good example of why you have to have single quality stuff on your records because people like Ryan. 
does not care too much about what you're talking about. It's all about how fast you're rapping and how hard the beat is. So you're going to have people. No, this is just a real thing. Like if Because there's a lot of artists that are like, yo, I'm a lyrical dude. I'm a lyrical. How come they ain't putting me on? About 20% of the people that listen to your music care about what you're talking about. That's most true. of the people listen to it because of how hard it knocks and, and your flow pattern. So you got to, that, that's, when you write, this is what I always say when we're doing destinations. If you're doing a song, you have to write your song as if the people listening to it don't even speak your language. It has to just sound good. The pattern, the beat, everything just needs to sound good, even if they don't know what you're talking about. Was that you, or maybe it was Hillary Jane in one of the interviews where you were talking about in the writing process, sometimes you'll just, over the beat, be like, you mumble da, your da, flow da, first, da, da, yeah. Da, 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 like. yeah, because that, that's the key, because your voice should feel like an instrument. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't feel like, here's a track, forget the track, I'm just going to do whatever I want to do. It has to feel like if you, if somebody didn't even understand English, and they just heard your voice pattern... Does it sound good with this track? Mm-hmm. It has to feel good because it, not as many people care about what you're talking about as you think they do. That's just that's just about yeah. Um, once I did hear um, Jay say your your voice should be an instrument and it should ride with the rest of the song. Yeah, I feel like I need to clean up what you said, but for it's, purposes it's true. of yeah, yeah, I can hear that being pulled against me. He doesn't <laughs> care about theology; he just cares about, about the theology. I'm talking about <laughs> lyrics. Whether it's secular or Christian, some people just don't care about lyrics. They don't yeah. care about what you're talking about. I do care, just not in this sense. Like with with trip, I mean, I'm a trip. I do care, but like Ti, I don't really. Just don't care. Mm-hmm. I don't even listen to all of it. Toss up. Um, I used my toss up too early. So. Yeah, I sure did. Yeah. Sure um, did. I would. I would definitely say that I didn't care too much for either one of the songs. But T.I.'s song was worse. So yeah. Trip won that yeah. one for me. Yeah, I would have to agree with that and say Trip. Um, mainly on, I'll just go on the message and say that I can appreciate that more. But the flow means t- send it back. <laughs> send it back. <laughs> send it back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. no. Exactly. I would like to toss up, please. <laughs> no ma'am, I'm one sorry. We're all out of toss ups. <laughs> I'm gonna go with trip on that one. I feel like this song well both songs, I feel like yo, it was like, Am I in two thousand five? You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like the T I sounded like some like jazzy fade, like, Hey, let's get away. I'm like, yo, uh. Um But at the same time I felt like that with the T I I felt like I mean with the trip, I felt like that was, you know, like, oh man, I want the old trip back. Like, there no, you go. Go and take that Speak back that to existence. the no, 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 I rebuke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I feel like in this sense, like, man, we all know we use our toss up early, so I'm gonna vote for the against the person I don't want to win the most. Um, so I'm gonna vote for Trip. Tell the that truth. One, so, um, I don't even think it takes all that. The the Ti song was. It has to be, um, album. No, I'm telling material. you, I read somewhere said it was going to be his That's next a single. mistake. Unless that joint gets crazy later. Uh, I think because I'm it's not featuring heard that Pharrell. Yeah. I think you just used the name no. at this point. It, 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 just, it just started way, 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 way too slow. For, I assume it goes somewhere else. I mean, it must. I mean, I think the reason one Pharrell is kind of still kind of big, his name is still big, so they probably going to use it. And the message behind the song, meaning like you got to be real if you're going to talk about what you're talking about. That's fine. But like it just <laughs> it just, it just just started it started way, way too slow. Yeah. It better go somewhere is all I'm saying. Like the hook better do something um, because that's not going to work. Um, and the Triple E song was, you know, it was cool, but it was it sounded better. The clip sounded better than what uh, T.I. was doing. So I got Trip on that. What you got? Trip. Online. A lot of toss ups. We got toss up. We got triple E, triple E, triple E toss up. And TI. Dog, it was about to be a complete wash because this is oh, one TI over here. So triple E took that one. Trip. 3 1. Trip, 3 1. All right, we're going to do trip first. Um, sweet victory. Here we go. You see me living. You can't tell on these CDs what, bro, I'm knee deep in it. I'm waiting in my weakness. He may be deep in it. I be laughing through my teeth to say I don't resent it. Even as I write these lines, I'm close to tears. But it ain't been working right for seven years. Miss me with that, keep your chin up, try to smile. Bro, I'm 26, I should feel better by a mile. 
Keep all your anecdotes and cute quotes. I'll pass on cliches for true hopes. I don't. All right, that was Sweet Victory, Triple E. This is T.I., a song called About My Issue. Round out they bit came in the house of the down my A couple handguns and a new SK. Bad for the just a grandma, yeah. Though I gotta keep a grandma straight. Catch a K, get away by the grace of God. Standing on the cone, slave slabs hard. It's a young soldier, no camouflage. Men of the ain't tell that you're playing hard. I pull a card on DP. Between make a living, me and Pee Wee. You spray your block, turn around, pull a repeat. And lay about it looking at it on TV. Man, I'm certified in my gangster. Getting on the ride of my bank. I'm in the gated mansion, no neighbor. New Italian suits on my hang. I got Cuban lace and down. All right, that was about my issue, T.I. versus Sweet Victory Trip. Who y'all going with? Um, I'm going to go T.I. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with T.I. with that one, but I feel like it's only because the feel of the song was, I guess, a little more ride-ish as far as Trip's song was more of like an ambient, I'm just letting it out in the mic type thing. T.I.'s was more of like a a uh, a bump song, like I'm just gonna rock, groove to this. Where a trip song was more of like a I listen to this to hear what he's saying. So it was kind of more difficult for me to choose. But if I'm choosing just off what would I pick to listen to first, it'll probably be T.I. song. Um, I'll cash in my toss up for three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Not many toss ups left out there. I'll just say that. Um, that's Chip Lee for me. T.I. on that one. That was easy. <laughs> I'm definitely going to go with Triple E on that one. T.I., you old, man. I ain't want to hear that King album type track. Like, <laughs> like, Y'all keep forgetting we do live in Atlanta. <laughs> you live down the street, bro. <laughs> bro. Oops. Bro. <laughs> Hashtag bro. oops. Fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you got oh, Triple yeah. E. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, I did not care for the T.I. It sounded it sounded like an old Snoop Dogg track to me. Um, yeah, it had a, definitely a West, but like, like, like Wild West, like Old West. Um, but um, I thought I liked the, the Triple E song. I thought it felt good. It felt really good to me. So Triple E. All right. So far online. Online we got T.I., Triple E, Toss Up, Toss Up. Hashtag can't take it with you. Mm. Um, I am going to go with Trip on that um, one. You could have tossed it up, but yeah. Trip I thought that was up. clearly Triple E to me. Yeah. In my, what's that for? All right, man, this is the last one. So here we go. T.I. Yeah, a solid swell. I never go with her. She don't do her hair. No more way. You don't get no kiss if it's a push down there. Girl, I should see nothing but look at when I look down there. They come and get with me. Shout out what better to do. He call me that How you do it? Tell him better than you. Yeah, I'm kicked back with four pieces like a Kit Kat. Me hitting if you ain't a dime, just forget that. Face flat out. She don't have. Hey, I wanna leave. Well, I think I pass. I just handed her the key to a new dry jam. When she took it, I took it back. You should have asked for a beer. All right, that was no mediocre. Oh, version. <laughs> that was a clean version. That's a clean uh, version. Not, it's not the radio. Glad we were already off the station. They would have taken us off the station. Okay. <laughs> the radio edit. That was the all edit. Up. So that was okay. So that was no mediocre. Ti, this is Triple E. Beautiful life. Know what you be saying, but it's music to my ears, though. Boom, back to your daddy when I'm here, though. Mommy put you in them polos and skinnies, curly fro. Well, you be flying in a lid, though. You got a mixed kid swag on. Looking like your mom and your dad on. Straight at the wound, you was real fresh. I cried so hard to lying and tears left. Since then, keep a smile on my face. Wrestling and dancing, wild in the place. Uh. Look, I know you got my name, but I want you wearing his. All right, beautiful life to Trip. No mediocre tip. That's it. Who y'all going with? Trip. Water. Trip. <laughs> what a trip. What a trip. Um, Jeremiah, I respect everything you do, <laughs> but I didn't quite understand this matchup. Mm. But okay. I'm gonna go with Trip. Gotcha. I guess my opponent caught him. <laughs> in the building hashtag in the building call. I'm actually gonna use my toss up I've been holding on to it so I'm gonna use my toss up man T.I. you old man <laughs> that track was mediocre bro. <laughs> oh, man. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 His name is Austin Welcher. <laughs> <laughs> he lives on 455 <laughs> Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never gonna get those uh, features. That was funny. Real quick, I'll go ahead. Nah, true me. <laughs> that was easy. Real quick, the reason why I matched those up was because out of all the songs on Trip's album, that's the only song that had that type of feel. That's what it was. You ain't got to lie, Craig. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I really, really don't like the mediocre song. I think it is super, super. Um, it's simple and it's it's almost insulting how simple it is. Not not in a simple way, but it it just feels like I know this is bad, but I know it's gonna sell, so I'm gonna do it. That it just feels like a complete plea. And plus, must it on a beat. So so it, uh, it just feels like uh, I don't I don't like that, but. Um, I love I love the concept of um, him to his son. I'm, I'm conflicted. This would definitely have been a toss up because I felt like Tripoli's song was a better idea, but the mediocre song is so catchy. It's it's insanely annoying, but it is catchy. So I'm gonna go Ti on that one. So online we got triple E, triple E, triple E, triple E, triple E, triple E. What's that song? Um, toss up. I'm telling y'all that album was good, man. You know what I think is unfair? When Jeremiah is putting together these line for lines, he already knows where he's going to use his toss-up. We've talked about this. We need to take his toss-up away. Oh, you, I'm never, you, I, I don't use my toss-up, though. You just used it. I mean, like, you this know, is the first but time. But you know when you're matching these up where you're going to use your toss-up. No, I, I, no actually, yeah, I don't. Yeah, you I really start. don't. You, you have to I know. No, I don't. You have to know. I don't. I'm I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm telling you the truth. I don't know. So you go, you vote with the way the room Honestly, this is what I do. You feel that pressure. I'm going to tell y'all what I do. I give six songs, six songs. And then I may go from one like the the first the first two songs, or I may skip those songs, come back. Like I know No Mediocre is a popular song, so I'm gonna say that last. So and then I'll just do other stuff. But I don't know until I'm really listening to the clip like everybody's supposed to, mm-hmm. and then I make my j- decision. I've never used really. I don't use yeah, talks. You can't that have them anymore. Taking That's them away. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to everything like that all the way through. Like he goes with feel. Yeah, yeah. He really does go with feel. Like, what is what does the song remind you of? Does it sound like this? Does it sound like it? So he's going back, listening to the lyricism and how things are mixed and mastered and everything right with y'all. So that's, that's all I'm going to say. That's though. awesome. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it doesn't matter. Either way, I mean, he has his opinion, too. <laughs> that matters. Um, but, yeah, so what y'all think? I mean, honestly, I think what it is, and the reason why you kept saying T.I. is old it's because T.I. seems like he's not evolving. It seems like he's still trying to hold but on to the streets. that's surprising, though. Isn't it? Not really. Aren't you, I think he's settling in. A little bit because he did evolve with the whole um, rubber band man stuff and the, and the whole, uh, what's the what's the boy's name that married uh, Alicia Keith? Swiss Beats? Swiss Beats. Oh, bring him out? Bring him out, bring him out. But that, that was still uh, early in his career, yeah, though. Yeah, but no, not that early. It was like four albums in. Yeah. No, man, I'm saying early, like, Mid two thousands, but he would he changed from the old stuff to that. So I'm surprised he isn't changing. No, but I'm talking about now. content but, wise. But he is a little bit. He's, he has a single. The um, the money all about the money is it, it is a little bit a nod to the new down south. But the rest of it is surprisingly. But I think what we're talking about. I think we're talking about two different things. You're talking about evolving sound wise. I'm talking about evolving lyrically and mentally. Like he's still trying to. I want him to go to Andre 3000, right? No, I'm not saying that. I just, I just feel like. I think the problem is his television show. You see him in a whole different light. That's not real. No, but what I'm saying is you the the this is what you're putting out with you and your family. Like you're a family man. You love your so kids. So you're saying he's losing street credibility. I don't think he's losing street cred because he's still T.I. and people still have respect for who he is. But I just think people don't buy into who he is no more because you're seeing this like... I also think it could be different forms of success coming in. Like if he wants to be an actor, yeah. he doesn't put as much into music as he has in the past. You know, well, if he wants to be in a, another role, he yeah. wants to be a manager, you know, just all these different things. Are, music might be somewhere where he slacks off now. Yeah, well, I heard he said in an interview I saw him and he said 
he recorded like a lot of songs for this album. Hundred, two hundred. So, but he also said he's coming out with a Three Kanye albums, West yeah. type uh, heartbreaking eight oh eight album, where it's all about I guess love or stuff like that. So he basically has three albums worth. He's gonna make it like a like a like a series. And yeah, he has three albums worth of music already. But he always records way more. Yeah, than he does. Me. I could never do that. By the Record way. like two hundred. I can't throw away verses like. That. Yeah. <laughs> I think the other thing with him is that. There's only so far you can go, especially yeah. when you know you're, you're, you keep talking about the same thing. So I, I don't think there's too much further that he could evolve with his style. Honestly, I think, I think that that's he, maxed out. He's kind of yeah, it's kind of maxed out. I think that he has to go to movies and just do something else. He has to go the, the Will Smith route and just say, okay, let's do this and, and see if I can change my career path. What's really interesting is that you think about all the rappers that were hot in the 2000s. They're kind of like all whack, man. Yeah, like like Ooh, Nelly era in hip hop. Um, you thinking about Nelly, like Ti, yeah, Ti, no Jeezy? <laughs> I, I ain't gonna say but, but, like they, they they falling off. Like people ain't really. But like, you see the pattern. Right you see the pattern. They all are going and doing something else. They most of them are acting. Everybody you yeah. just named is trying to get into acting. Now, Wayne, what's 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 Wayne's Wayne, problem? Yeah, the drugs. The drugs. The drugs. So Probably so. Only person that is still himself. only person that's still kind of doing something is Eminem. Eminem, even though he had but, a fall but, off, but, but let's be real. Eminem is still he's still up there. But why? It's not like the music is the same. But they're all yeah. moving into acting. They're all moving into something. I feel like Eminem it's just, and Wayne are moving into acting. Well, I mean, he did. He did at one time. They've all one acted. Movie. But they've all co-signed brilliant acts. I mean, you got Wayne, you got Drake, you got Ti, you got Iggy. I mean, yeah, they I mean, don't want to fall back. But, but they don't want to fall behind. At some point, you got to become Snoop Dogg. You got to become the old Drake. Head. OG. Yeah, you have to. There's no yeah. choice. That style but I, is old now. I think people just don't want to hear you talk about. I mean, like honestly, his last album. I remember we was in the conversation, and I was like, "Yo, Ti T. was pretty much done." You I did. thought he was, but then when I heard Trap Back jumping, I was like, "Oh, okay, that's that made him back into the game to me." Me. Right now, I just think I think at the same time, I think his problem is it's it's just it's like he's still trying to prove who he is when you don't have to prove yeah, that you 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 don't need to yeah. prove yourself anymore. Yeah. I think the South. Yeah, I think I think his whole identity crisis with you know what was it Paper Trail where he was trying to prove he was a good guy or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he came back out talking about guns again. It's like. What? I thought you had that was just for yeah. the, that was just for the PO. <laughs> yeah, but Paper Trail, I think albums sound better when they have a lot of features. And Paper Trail had a ton of features yeah. and made it seem and he got the good artists on there, so we made it really not that good. From ben <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna wrap it up now. Um you in the field with the track stars, Ryan Righteous, Shantana, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yeah, we get them. Why we do it? Why we do it? I do it for the turn up. Yeah, yeah. Got that ammo locked and loaded. Telling boys I never leave a crib alone Cause I keep one in my car and I got two at home They different kinds but they do the same thing Double edge, double barrel Bang, bang, it's up I'm out here facing dragons, I ain't out my mind Bang, bang They coming from a soul, so it's bad that time Bang, bang Them lies they trying to kill me if you don't believe me Ugh. I don't care, I don't care I can't take it easy yeah. I'm flipping a page, I'm trigger happy and flipping the gauge. Clicking and hitting the stage, hit you with truth, he's in every phrase. He cut me deep, I'm diving in, diving in. When I ride, I catch the hit, I'm alive again. I'm alive again. That's right. When I ride, I catch the hit, you know we got it. I'm alive again. Uh-huh. Manolo, man. When I ride, I catch the hit, I'm I do it for the time.
up. I'm not here going post up. My partners think I lost it. My mama think I'm loco. I keep my shooter close up. You know it's fully automatic. Shoot you straight, man. That truth will do you pity damage. Uh. I got enemies, I can't see them all, but they love you. I flip that page on them, my trigger finger stay with you. I got plenty ammo, got old and new, they both testify. My law, and ain't nobody playing with you, gon' mess around and come testify. And I ain't gotta say no more. I'm a kick, kick, bang, and a thing gon' blow. Yeah, letters like a red dot on your door. Yap, 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 yap. All y'all gon' wanna dance for the back seat. That's me with a clip full of black ink. I'ma hit y'all with it till I split y'all with it. Man down, man down, had a bad week, bad week. Get into it. 